Hello out there to you. In this problem, we've got kind of a complicated payoff matrix for two players playing a game. Uh, player one's payouts are the first number, and player two's payouts are the second number. Okay. Uh, we're going to assume that these payouts are positive, so we like uh, positive things. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, number one in green and so if player two does a player one is best off to do w so i'm going to highlight that one when player two does b uh, player one is best off to do x player two does c player one is best off to do x player d sorry player two does d and player one is best off to do W. Now we can note here that this the player one does not have a dominant strategy, but it does have two dominated strategies. Okay, so in other words, they're never going to play these um, these strategies. That's what this part of the question is referring to. In other words, we don't really care about these two. Um, they're off the table from player one's perspective, and player two knows that. So uh, when player two makes some decisions. Uh, they can really not consider that. But anyway, they, they still will. Maybe we have an irrational actor or something. Uh, when player one does W, we now want to look at the second number. And so player two is best off to go C, get that five. When player one does X, then uh, player two is going to do C. This right here is a Nash equilibrium. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that combination there. That's a Nash equilibrium. In fact, that's actually the only one because we can't have one down here. Uh, and so that would be player one choosing X and player two choosing C. And that's why the dominated strategies don't matter because that's where the, the Nash equilibrium is. But I'll finish the game. Uh, so if player one were to choose Y, then player two would choose a and if player uh, one does z then player two should choose c yet again um, and there is sort of a world where um, so now we're, we're done we've solved the game these two don't matter you could imagine some scenarios though where player two has an incentive to get to here and they could pay off player player one in order to get there um i don't the payouts aren't really strong enough for player one to pay player two however there is a collusive outcome down here uh that's about the best you can get if they if they were to work together uh, it's not the answer but if you look at both of these together that would be if they colluded but there's your nash equilibrium the dominated strategies don't matter this is also a dominated strategy from player two's perspective so is this uh, so those wouldn't matter, and we'll just be right there. That's our Nash equilibrium.